What's up guys, how you're doing? Welcome to another video. Sorry there hasn't been a video for like a week and a, and a bit, week and a half, I think. In fact, no, maybe even two weeks, guys. I'm sorry about that. Had loads going on, been real busy, but don't worry, we got some regular videos coming every week for you guys for the next few weeks. And I thought I would do some slightly shorter videos around some tips all to do with photo mechanic. I get asked loads about photo mechanic. Can I do more tutorials on photo mechanic? How does it work? How do you use this? How do you do that? First thing I'm going to say, there are hundreds of things you can do with photo mechanic, probably like 90% of which I don't know. But what I do know know is the essential things and I know how to use it to get the best from it for my sports photography and I'm going to share those ideas with you guys. I think this is going to be a good video, let's go. As always guys, before we get into the video, I'm going to ask you one thing. The one thing I always ask you on every single video because it is so, so important. It helps us as a team to beat the YouTube algorithm. Please take a second to go like the video for me. It's going to take two seconds of your time. All you've got to do is hit that thumbs up button right down there for me. It means a lot and it helps me out and it gives me a thank you, shows me that you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for taking the time to do that. I really appreciate it and please don't don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Loads of other videos coming on my channel. Loads of other videos already on there that you should go and check out. Don't forget to go check out my social media channels. You can find me over on Instagram. At Rob Sambles is the best place to be looking. And if you want to see my actual work, my sports work, go check out at Rob Sambles Sports. Great place to see loads of my sports photos. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter as well, at Rob Samples Photo. That's where I put loads more info about like when my videos are coming, what events I'm doing, some behind the scenes stuff, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, enough chit chat, let's look at photo mechanic. Specifically today, I'm going to look at how you add the metadata into photo mechanic so that when you ingest your photos it adds all that metadata for you so it can add the date the location all the different stuff that you want to have um, automatically added into all the metadata of that photo really really useful tool saves you a ton of time you can import a thousand photos and it will automatically add all of it in there rename the photos to whatever you want them to be called add keywords and all sorts really really good and i'm going to show you how to do that today that's probably all we're going to look at in this video there's loads of stuff we can do and like I said I'm going to do a series of videos where we look at some of the different bits that you can do with photo mechanic but that's what we're going to look at today how you add the info into the metadata into what we call the stationary pad in photo mechanic so first things first we need to get onto the computer take this cool shot of NBA trainers off the back and let's get into photo mechanic let's have a look let's go Okay guys, so for the first thing, of course, we are in photo mechanic. So this is my photo mechanic right here. Now, obviously at this stage, I haven't ingested any images. The first thing that we want to do is to bring up um, kind of the ingest box. Now, the quickest way to do that is to press control G and then it just appears in front of you on the screen right here. Now there's a couple of bits you can do. The main place where you're gonna add all the metadata is in this down here, is in the IPTC stationary pad. But before you do that, you can also set up for the files that you ingest to be renamed. Now the photo I'm gonna use for an example here is a, um, a Fulham training session. So for example, we might call um, these photos Fulham training. Um, and let's say, I don't know, pick a random date, let's pretend it was the 10th of January. And then you can also down here, you can set a sequence. So now what will happen is every photo that gets ingested will be called Fulham underscore training underscore the date underscore. Then the first one will be 001, the second photo 002 and so on and so on and so on. So that's the naming of the file sorted. So we come into here, IPTC stationary pad now in here you can add all the metadata that you want to add to your photo you can include a description a headline keywords locations over on this side a whole host of stuff now what you do and don't include will depend a little bit on what you want and what you want the job to be but i'll show you some of the stuff that i include so 
rather than me taking a 25 minute video to fill all this in right now i'm going to show you in one second a completed one that is already filled out um in the way that you do that but just to quickly kind of give you an example what you would do here is let's say for example you wanted to include um all of the location information you could tick the ones you want you might want the city uh the location the country and you could just write in here so in my case it would have been london it would have been Motspur Park because that's where that training session uh, was taking place. It was um, in the United Kingdom. And you get the idea. You can fill in pretty much whatever you um, whatever you want to down in here. Um, the event, I could just call it Fulham Training Session. In here would be the headline. So, you know, what I would probably write in here. So the top section, first of all, sorry, is where your caption is going to go. So when you write your, write your caption in the top section, it's then going to lead into your headline. So for my headline, I'm going to write during the Fulham Football Club training session at Motspur Park in London on... The, when did we say it was? The 10th of January. Something like that. That's a real simple version, right? Then up here, depending on the photo I've got, I might have, you know, like um, Tom Kearney passes the ball and then, you know, during the Fulham FC training session. So you get what I mean. Down here, you can include a whole host of other stuff around sort of payment details and, and things like that as well. So let me open up one that I've already completed so you can see how it looks. Okay, so just like that, guys, we have got a filled in loaded one. Took uh, took me about 15 minutes to create this the first time. It took you guys one second on the video to see how it goes. So you'll see what I've done, right? I've filled in certain categories on this photo. I've kept it for the event that we were talking about to make it a bit easier for you. But you can see what I've done. I've got the headline, which is, as we said before, that's during the, the session we're talking about. I've also added in my keywords, so relevant keywords for the event that I'm doing. Up here, I've put the event title. I've done the city, the location, and the um, the details of where the event's taking place. As we scroll down slightly, you can see over here, I've filled in all of my um, image rights information. So myself and the details of, of where the copyright sits. Quite important here, I've put in big capitals, no unpaid use. So it's very clear in the metadata of every photo. Now, what I haven't actually filled in, because of course it's my personal details, so I can't put it on the video, unfortunately, but in here I would have my actual personal um, payment details. So if someone does want to use the photo, they know where the payment details go. And down in this section here would be all my contact details. So I would fill in my address, my contacts, my email, my phone numbers, my web and everything in there. I've also put in some categories, mostly for myself, but just the categories of sports and the um, supplementary categories of, of football and Fulham as well. The only other thing I've done is up here, this date box, I will tick. Now you can change it to a date, you can set the date yourself like this. What I tend to do is just move it to capture time so then it takes the date from the camera um, and the actual time and everything and includes that in the metadata of the photo itself. So that's all filled in. Once we're happy that this is all filled in, we're pretty much good to go. You can save this as a template if you want to. But once you've done everything, you just press close stationary and now that is all sitting in there. You see, it's not gone anywhere. It's all sat in there and we close the stationary down. Now, at this stage, we're ready to start importing photos. But in order for you to make sure that all of that information is applied to every photo, you have to tick this box here, which says apply the stationary pad to the photos. So we tick that box there. You want the global one like that. We've already set this up to rename the photos we know. So what we're going to do is we're going to ingest some photos. Now I've already set up a, uh, a folder. I've got a photo sat ready to go for the example for you guys. But up here you would select whichever folder you want or you would... Um, you know, get it straight off the disk um, like you would if it was a live event. But once you're happy, you're done, you press ingest. And your photo appears up here. Now we've only got one photo for the, this example, but you might have 50 photos in here, right? Now, the photo itself, there's a photo of Tom Kearney at Fulham. Now, you've got a few options on the photo. We can zoom in and we can look at it, we can look at it bigger. But one of the things we can do is to press this I over here on the left-hand side. 
when we load that up it takes us to the template which includes all the information you can see all the info that we filled in on that stationary pad is all in there now all we need to do is we need to add a description up here so for the sake of this we're going to say Tom Kearney of Fulham uh, what was he doing I think he was warming up warms up for training there we go so now the the caption would just read tom kearney of fulham warms up for training during the fulham fc training session at motspur park in london on the 10th of january 2020 all my keywords are in there and everything else is in there we can cancel that um do we want to save it yes of course we do and all of that is now in there go into it again it's all there and that guys is how you include metadata to automatically add to your photos in photo mechanic okay that's pretty much it guys that is how you do it i hope you found that interesting i hope you found that useful hopefully it's going to help you go and use photo mechanic a little bit more if you haven't already got photo mechanic and you're not using it if you want to get into your sports photography and in fact actually if you want to get into any kind of photography where you're photographing an event that has a load of photos that then need like sorting out photo mechanic is well worth considering if you go into a um like a photographer's room at like a premier league game Game. if you see 20 photographers there will be 20 copies of photo mechanic open it is used that commonly and that frequently so really worthwhile checking out if you would like to i don't work for camera bits which is the company that does photo mechanic no one's paid me to say it um but genuinely it is the best program to use so i would really recommend it Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to go hit that thumbs up button for me because you know how much it helps me out. And I'm going to see you guys on the next video. See you soon.